Really? Did I, did I cross the river to get here? Oh no, I came up around it. Okay, uh, well, what we will do is... Maybe make the... No, nah, we'll make the walls. Six, yeah, we can make six. Or we can make one of these and then four of the external, you know. Let's do the gate first, right? And then we'll make some more walls. Uh, where the hell am I? Wait, it's over here. Okay. Looks clear. I think I've got some wood in here still right here. Let's store our excess wood in here. Okay. Oh, well, uh, okay. I thought these, these didn't stack for a second there. That would have been kind of awkward when you think about it. Oh, look. They actually, like, snap to each other. That's really cool. And that makes sense, actually. You want them to snap to each other. Um, so, what we would probably want to do is maybe link it over to this rock here. And go across to, like, there. Can you jump up this one? Yeah, you can, but... Okay, we'll go around the rock then. We won't, we won't go, like, over it. Or, like, through it. Oh. It's like trying to line it up a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's dodgy, actually. Okay. Uh, elevation problems can be... Like, what the hell? No. Okay, we have to do like a really weird way of going around here now. I've never built one of these before, so forgive me. Oh, fuck, we're, all, we're already out. I mean, look. It looks kind of cool, right? Yeah, I think it looks great. Alright, well, we start building our wall. Could we build the, should we build the gate, like, up here? I mean, we might as well, right? We've got the gate on us, so we could just place it. Uh, look, look at this. Um, I mean, we would probably want to encapsulate our own house into this place. Fuck, this is going to be a very big base, though, if we do this. Do we want it to be that big? I mean, we can, might as well. Alright, well, here's the deal. Can we, yeah, I think we can place, like, I think we're okay. Uh, I'm just going to try and get that to go, like, there. That looks good, that looks good. Oh, fuck yeah, look at that. And it opens outwards, which means that if they're banging on the doors, they can't push them inwards, they have to pull them. It's a, it's a, a push, it's, or sorry, it's a pull, not push. Uh, I also want to go back to my little house here and make a code lock for that door. I know that it's not really blocking off anything just yet. But, um, we, we're working on it. We're starting to build ourselves a really great, uh, s like, structure here. Uh, out here in the wild. The wild, wild west. Or, um... Yeah, we are actually in the west. We're in, like, the northwest. Of the server. Chain link mm, fence gate. Is that a person I can hear, or is that, like, a... How do you make a code lock? Code lock, 400, fuck. Okay, we'll, we, we can get that. Uh, I think it was just a deer. I don't think it was a person. Okay. Man, this is going to be quite a big community, though, by the looks of things. Like, we're going to have a lot of space in here to do stuff. We'll see, actually. Uh, I mean, in a second, what we could do is run over to the the power plant and just see if there's anyone there who wants to help out with the the, the wall building it because uh, it's going to be quite difficult to do this right we, we, and it's going to take quite a long time to get all the the wood that we need okay we've got enough for the code lock anyway so we can do that code lock code 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 what's the f f f where
Code lock. F oh, four. I thought it said forty wood. Four hundred. Jesus. Okay, we can do that. I can. Uh, I can easily get four hundred wood. I mean, I have got some in that chest just behind me, which we can. F you know what? Screw it. Let's just go for that. It's quicker. It's easier. Not a problem. All right. And now we will make ourselves a glorious code lock. There we go. Code lock. And I'm going to blur the code, though, so that you guys can't see it. Because <laughs> uh, that would not be the best. Because anyone who is uh, my enemy could potentially then unlock the door. Okay. Locked. That's great. Uh, so now nobody can get in this place without uh, without the code. I mean, they could just walk around the door uh, for now until we properly, uh, you know, build it. But until we build off like the whole the whole colony here. Man, I, I see there's like prison doors and shit in here. Like, like look at all this prison cell. Man, we're gonna have to build ourselves a, like a prison to keep people in at some point. Like it, it, we we need to capture prisoners and stuff and torture them and tell us make them tell us where their base is, you know do, the sort of things that bad guys do because we we're bad guys. Uh, nothing. That's also bad guys out there uh, shooting uh, innocent civilians by the sounds of things. Okay, so what what Sala's gonna do is run over to the uh, the satellite. No, it's not a satellite dishes. It's a power plant. I need to remember I'm not in the same the same area. Uh, I mean I don't know about you guys, but that looks. Like a power plant to me, not a satellite dish. <sighs> okay. So if there's anyone over here, we will try and get them to to come with us, and um, ask if they'd like to help us build our community. Or of course, if they deny, if they if they say no, see here's what we're gonna do, right? To keep up the whole bad guy act. Oh, well, it's not an act anymore. We have to we have to really embrace being a bad guy. Um, to keep up the whole bad guy persona, if they decline to, to join our, our band, we will uh, kill them. And they'll be put on a list of people who will never be given the chance to join ever again. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me, if I do say so myself. Uh, I think that that's probably a very good plan. Um... Especially because it will strike fear into the hearts of everyone. Although I could make a mistake and kill someone who's not, or sort of kill someone who's connected, like they're part of like a bigger clan, and then they could just come along and wipe me out off the face of the the, the earth. I mean, it's entirely possible, but uh, you never know, right? Okay. But what we'll have to do, we'll have to explain our philosophy to anyone who joins us. Uh, we'll have to say to them, look. We are going to be the biggest assholes on the server. We are going to be killing people and stealing all their shit. And um, blowing down buildings with C4. Just just for a laugh. You know, because it's, it's kind of funny, right? But at the same time, not when it happens to you. Uh, I, I hate it when it happens to me. I hate it when people raid me. Uh, but we have to do it because... Basically... What, no, because what we did last time on the server, we were we were too good, and I think I said this before. We were, it was fun playing as a good guy. Uh, it, w it was a lot of fun playing as a good lone. There is a guy down there. Was he in the building? Sounds like he's in the building. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. hey! Don't run away! Don't run away! Hey, I just want to speak to you. Don't run away. I will shoot you if you run away. Okay, who are you? Ze Zephyrox. Hey Zephyrox, do you want to uh, join my uh, my uh, colony? I'm building like a, a little uh, area around here and I need people to help out. We're going to be bad guys though. Are you up for that? Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, Zephyrox. Make the right choice, my friend. 
Uh, depends. Are you saying no or are you saying yes? <laughs> He's onto the ruse. He knows. I probably won't shoot you if you say no because you, you, it looks like you just spawned. So I don't think you have anything anyway. So, you know, it's up to you, my friend. If you want to be a good guy, carry on. I'm not going to kill you. Fuck, he's, he's really in deep thought about this, isn't he? Look at him. He's, 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 all right, thanks. Okay, um... I guess, so So you're you're going to carry on your way. You want to be a good guy. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, You, you do that, my friend. You, you got off lucky. If you had anything else, if you were wearing clothes, or if you had any tools on you, I would have probably iced you right now. But because you're just a naked with a rock... Uh, actually, you can also have uh, this. There you go. I just threw a tool at your feet. Take that and be on your way. See, I mean, I could be a good... I could be like a, a good bad guy, right? I don't have to be like a, a, a really bad guy. Uh, we don't need to kill people, though, for no reason. We only kill people for their stuff. We're not just going to kill naked people uh, who have nothing. He was fucking holding a rock, so... We're not going to kill people like that. And if that if that annoys you, I I don't I don't care. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but I I I I'm playing by my own rules here. I'm going to be bad, but I'm not going to be bad just for the sake of being bad. We're going to kill people, but only for their stuff, uh, because there's no like, otherwise you're just a psychopath, right? There's there's being bad to survive out here. Yeah, fuck granola bar, feast time. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah, nice. Um, there's being bad to survive, which is what I'm doing, right? We, we will kill people for our own survival. Uh, but there's also being bad just because you're a psychopath, which is what some people do. Uh, but that's not us. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> this barrel didn't die. Look. It is actually dead. <laughs> but that, that's hilarious. I've never seen it stay together like that. All right, well, well, hopefully we can run into somebody who's a bit more well-equipped than uh, Zephyrox, who we could uh, recruit into our merry band of followers, who we've yet to uncover. Thrill House, uh, I did speak to him, but I think he wants to be a good guy this time as well, uh, which is a shame. But Thrill House and I, uh, like I said, we, 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 were, we are like separated at birth, and we're long-lost brothers. And so if... Oh, hello, hello, salvaged ice pick. Um, if we... What the fuck? Oh, shit. I thought I, I could hear, like, a big motorcycle in the distance in real life. And I thought it was... Are you fucking serious? Did you see how far that thing went? Where did it go? What the hell? Every time. The hatchet is just... It's gone. Look, it, it came bouncing over here. I watched it. I think it fell through the floor or something. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I guess we're going back <laughs> to um, build another hatchet. Jesus Christ. I need to stop doing that, accidentally clicking my right mouse button when I'm running along with a fucking tool. Ah. Okay, we'll get this barrel while we're out here as well. Have a hatchet in it, go on. Give, give, give us a hatchet. Okay, don't give us a hatchet. Jacket, I've got a jacket already. Is, is that a blueprint? Yeah. Oh yeah, I already can make them. Oh, is that new? Where it shows like their stats? A rugged jacket, huh? Really? There's a lot of protection. Okay. Not quite as pr much protection though as I think I've got. There's a box up there. Let's go get. Let's go get that box. Um. Okay. The hell? Who's been shooting at this barrel? Someone's fired a shot at it. And didn't finish it off. I already have that. I already have that. Okay, fine. There's a proper box up here, though, that we can get. 
in here. Yep. With a chocolate bar. F who, who does that? Who just puts a, a big crate out in the middle of nowhere? Like a big crate that could fit like millions of things inside it, right? And what do they put in there? What the f... There is some sort of... There is somebody out here firing arrows at barrels and also at thin air. But we're like on the trail of some sort of phantom arrow god who's like just firing arrows and freezing them in time. I mean, I don't know if we really want to run into that guy, but we could very well run into him. Okay, let's go see if uh, Zephyrox has discovered the greatest building that, that, that there ever was. Uh, the the uh, fucking camouflage. Look at that. Fuck the horse's tail and his head. Uh, okay. F just run through a wall, why don't you, horse? Jesus. Okay. Um, let us. What the f fuck? Oh, okay. I, I don't know why I thought that this was a person. Standing here, I was I was really creeped out for a second. I get, I get creeped out quite easily, actually. I just I just noticed. I do seem to get creeped out really really easily. Okay, we're gonna make another hatchet. That's what we're here for. Uh, okay, it's hatchet time. Do 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 do. We can also store these fragments in here, and we can start working towards another blueprint library. F Oops, lag. Uh, actually, what I made last time with the blueprint library, I don't think I showed you guys, but I made um, this auto turret, uh, so I can I can make those now. But I, I do need to figure out how to get a targeting computer and a CCTV camera to make it, uh, which I can't currently do, which is a shame. Oops. Right, I'm back out. Uh, but we're going rushing back out to the the forest of woe uh, out here where we defeated some sort of demon that came from the clouds by throwing the enchanted hatchet at his head. We actually just lost that enchanted hatchet though, which is actually kind of sad because that hatchet's been through so much. It helped to save the world at some... Boar, you scared the shit out of me. I thought your footsteps were a person. Okay. Well, it looks like there's not... That sounds like there is a person. Uh, I thought I could hear footsteps nearby, but I could be completely wrong. I think I am. Okay, well, we're back. Uh, smacking down more trees, as is the usual. That's okay, right? Uh, it's, it's fun to watch. It's just... The thing is, when you're doing this sort of thing in this game, uh, when, you, when you're like chopping down trees, when you're recording, it's best, that's like the sort of time where I just, I just let my stream of consciousness take over, and I don't really talk about anything, like, that makes any sense. Like, every time I'm out here, I just seem to lose my mind, uh, going on about, like, really weird shit, because, I don't know, it's just the way it is, really. Um, the river looks really nice. We could, we could tree contain this area in our base as well. <laughs> I mean, it's really far away, but you never know. We could do something like that at some point. I mean, at the end of the day, what we could do, there is always expansion opportunities. We could have another gate leading out this way, and then we could open that gate perpetually uh, once we expand our, our bounds. So we could have that, right? We'll, we could just expand our, our, our fence like further than... Um, than it is. I don't know. What the hell? Oh, okay. Uh, this, this tree is leaving a mark. What the hell? This tree is, like, very, very strong. It's not leaving any, like, cracks on it when I'm hitting it, like most trees do. This tree is having none of that. Okay. Uh, still looks like there is nobody out here to be seen, uh, or to be heard. No one to recruit into our our grand base. 
which is a shame. Maybe we will get somebody next episode. Uh, if not, what I could do is, of course, on Reddit, I I'll probably do this. I'll probably post a recruitment thread on there and get people uh, to join us. Thing is, I like doing it like naturally though. I, I like to to like let people come and just find us like out here in the wild and and say, hey, I'd like to join your your band, you know, rather than having it all organized on Reddit and you know knowing everyone who's in the group beforehand. I think it's probably better to meet them out here and get a judge of character. And plus, we have the plus side of like I said. If the recruitment, if they decline, we can just shoot them in the face. Uh, that's always, you know, a, 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 an advantage. Which I would really like to get though. I'd really love to get some large furnaces and create like a proper little factory. You know, like Thrill House had on the old server, he had a, um, a C4 factory. I'd like to make something that, like along those lines inside the walls. So that we can produce like loads of metal and, and stuff and sulfur and all sorts of things like really easily because having like a small furnace it's not really cutting it at the moment uh, especially when you're trying to create a load of metal fragments alright and how much wood have we got I can make some of these three Jesus it's just not not enough See, the thing is, I'd like to skip some of this stuff, but at the same time, it can be quite interesting to watch it as well, right? I mean, because like I was saying before, it's like you, you can I, I just talk about random shit when I'm doing this, but I, I will skip some of it, I guess, at some point. I'm not sure, though. We'll have to see. Um, if, if it's too boring, then we'll skip some. This tree does not... Look, it's another one of these fucking invincible trees. The weird, weird hitbox. Look, if I hit like this... Okay, it's very weird. Alright. Who's at power plant at the moment? And we could head over there and see who's uh who see who's asking. Because we are always nearby. I would love to leave like uh I don't know. I know, so one thousand five hundred. I thought it was just one thousand. Um, what we could we could always do, I think, would be kind of cool if we if we ever raid anybody, we can leave like you know, like in The Walking Dead, the the wolves. If you've seen The Walking Dead, there was a group uh, called the Wolves, and they um, after they would raid people, they would like write a sign that says like "Wolves not far," like a really sort of ominous sign that anyone could come across. Like a across what the fuck? There is someone there. I don't know it's just a fucking robot cow. Um, no, but we, we could do something similar, right? Like, have something like Reapers Near or something like that, you know? Just something that sort of marks where we've been. And people will know that the Reapers have been around there. And they've they've raided that person and killed them in their, their sleep. Because after I got killed in my sleep, I think it's time that I start to uh, do that myself. I think that it's only fair. Uh, it happened to me. And now it will happen to everyone. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I feel really bad about doing that though. Like I, 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 I am of, I am firmly of the opinion that if you're gonna raid someone, you should probably do it while they're online because it's, it makes it fair. Otherwise, it's just, you know, it's just luck. Like whether whether the person's online or not. F fucking hell. This thing is really difficult to to build the way I wanted to. Like I wanted to go around the rock. Okay, well we're we're moving in that direction now anyway. Uh, so we should be able to start fuck yeah look at it oh my god wait this is the rock that I was going to go around before we're actually getting closer to this rock now nice that's that's very good all right uh let's actually head over like i said uh, let's head over to the power plant and see because there's a, a couple of dudes coming over here i think uh maybe we could i think they're already in a clan but we could ask them if they'd like to to join our one um, let's see what they say. We, we, thing is, I don't, uh, like, I want to keep my gun out just to show people not to shoot me on sight because I'll shoot back. But at the same time, if you run around without a gun out, it's far less intimidating. Okay, there is actually people shooting uh, at the quarry. Oh, sorry, at the, uh, power plant. Maybe we could get the drop on them. Or maybe we'll probably just get shot. We'll see. 
I mean, I can uh, I can make more stuff, so it's not too big a deal if I get a shot. Okay. I mean, I do. I I I am pretty bad at the combat on this game, though, so I wouldn't put my hopes up uh, in me winning any firefights today. Okay. I don't see them. Do you see them? I shouldn't really be running around up here, but I feel too slow if I don't run. Because running around, obviously, you, they can hear your footprints, so... Or footsteps. Mm, hello there. Bean can. Yeah, we've already got this. Oh look, there's someone down there. Is that the guy who's shooting? Could be. All right, let's do it. We're gonna go, we're gonna run down and try and try and talk to him and see who he is, and uh, if he would be interested in joining our merry band. Uh, let's just heal ourselves up just in case we get into a fight here. We need to be ready uh, to to fight. We've got bandages, we're ready to go. Uh, let's see what, what this guy is all about. He'll probably shoot me on sight though, because I think he was just shooting somebody over here. But here's the thing, if I just shoot everyone, I'm never going to be able to recruit anyone. Hang on a second. Where the fuck did he go? He's going to get the drop on me big time, I think. Oh no, look, there he is. Out there. Hang on. Alright, he might very well just pull out the gun and start shooting at me for no reason. Let me see, because he, he does look like he's pretty well equipped. Hang on. Like, he's got a gun out, I think. F fuck, I mean, I could just... I mean, is it worth it? Did he go in here? I think he might have done. Hey, hey mate. Hey guy with the red shirt. I'm behind you. Can I speak to you for a sec? Don't shoot. I just wanted to Hello? speak to you. Yo, um I want I want no one. Oh. oh hey, what's up? Um are you already part of a, oh. a group? I'm trying to recruit people. Like I'm trying to build like a base around here. Oh yes, I... I'm part Ah, oh, okay. Um oh, nice. Well I'm part of the TPS. What's the um the TPS? What does the TPS stand for? Oh, it's the Tiny Penis Society. <laughs> okay, uh, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, it, it, it's a nice name. Yeah, yeah, okay. We've got um, a base right over there. All right. Well, if if you ever uh, if you ever leave that group, come around this area and I'll come look for you. And you, you're you're always welcome to join. Uh, I need to recruit some members, so. I will, man. Okay. Thanks. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, I, I'm not going to kill that guy because he's already part of a, a group, and it's, it's like, you know, I, I, I can't. If I kill him, I'll start a war with the Tiny Penis Society, and I don't think that's really the best thing to do at the moment when I'm on my own. Fuck. Okay, we might, we might need to do the Reddit recruitment thread because currently it's like impossible for Hido. Now I'm not going to type it in the chat. See, this is the thing. It just breaks the RP. I think. I think it's much better if we go around asking people. And if we end up being on our own, fuck it, we'll be on our own and we'll just be a bandit. Like, properly this time. But uh, not killing that guy because uh, that guy looked pretty well equipped. And um, I think he has a group of people nearby that could come and wipe me off the face of the earth. I'll start killing clan people, I think. Um, maybe once I have an entire wall built. But at the moment, I don't have that, so... We're not going to do anything of the sort. Alright, well, we're going to head back to our little base and then we'll we'll sort of end the episode. I might do a bit more of the, the, the wall off camera. Because uh, I, I know it could probably be a bit boring just watching me trying to build this wall. Uh, which is fair enough. You know, uh, it's, it's quite a tedious job. And uh, it can be a bit tedious to watch. So, 
Oh, yeah, I'll probably definitely go a bit off of uh, off camera. Man, look at my lovely bridge that I've built out there. It looks so good in the sunset. What the fuck? I can hear footsteps, man. I'm sure I can hear footsteps. It sounds like someone's rustling in the bushes. Or am I just really paranoid? No, can you hear that shit? It must just be the like the rustling of the bushes. It, it, there's definitely no one in there, so f oh, man. I'm so paranoid. I just think there's someone everywhere. Okay, uh, I'm gonna end the episode here, and I'll probably do some more, like I said, off camera. And um, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.